Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I got a fun video for you. I've uh, got another uh, gun review, or not really a review, rather just a kind of a show and tell. I'm not going to shoot or anything today. We're just going to show it to you. And uh, we'll do some more videos on this. We'll do some accuracy tests and uh, just some overall function and uh, how well it how well it performs. But uh, I've done something I've, I don't think I've ever done. I was kind of thinking about it and I, I don't think I've ever done it. I just went to a gun, a gun store to look around and just kind of uh, you know see what they had, and uh, I walked out of there with a rifle. I've, I've never done it before. I've always kind of planned ahead and you know uh, reviewed and uh, just always kind of uh, had it thought out before I walk into the store what I want. And usually I, I always order guns and have them just sent you know the FFL uh, transfer and do it that way. I don't I don't think I've ever just walked into a store not expecting to buy a gun and bought one. But uh, the other day I did, and I'm really excited about it, and I want to show it to you. So let's dive right into it. So uh, what we have here is a uh, Savage Model 64, and uh, I'm uh, this is a new gun, but to me I'm very familiar with it. Uh, I didn't really need to do no research on it. This was actually my very first rifle, uh, not this one. Obviously, this one's new, but one just like it. Uh, I had one when I was a kid and I absolutely loved it. Uh, I seen this and I just had to have it. Uh, I had It brought back a lot of fond memories of, uh, you know, squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting, and just plinking and just having a, a fun time. I've shot uh, a lot of boxes of 22 through one of these. So uh, the Model 64 Savage is a blowback action 22 long rifle, semi-automatic. Uh, it has a 10 round mag. And uh, it is empty, just so you know. Do a safety check. So, uh, blowback 22, uh, 10 round magazine. And uh, I haven't shot this one. Well, I did. I fired one round through it just to, because I had to the day I bought it. But uh, I haven't actually tested this one out to see how it feeds and how accurate it is. We'll do that in another video. But, uh, like I said, this was my first rifle ever, and uh, I went to a gun store just to look around, see what they had, and uh, this one was on the shelf, and I instantly knew what it was, and the price was right, and I had to buy it. Uh, unfortunately, I sold my original one years and years and years ago, uh, and I've always missed it. I've always wished I'd have kept it, and when I seen this, I had to, I had to pick it up. Uh, they're very inexpensive. Uh, they're very... Uh, budget friendly for just a 22 to plink around uh, like i said i didn't research it at all and i actually could have got it cheaper than what i paid for it out the door i think it was 168 uh 170 somewhere around there out the door uh, and then i went down the road and went into an academy and they had one for about 20 dollars cheaper so you know you, you shop around you get a little cheaper but i didn't care 20 bucks i was tickled to death to uh to find another one of these. I haven't seen one in years. And honestly, I didn't even know they still made them. But uh, after I got home, and I started doing some uh, some looking around, researching on it. Uh, they actually, not only do they, you know, they still make it, obviously, but they have a lot of different uh, variants of it. Uh, you can get it in a wood stock. You can get it in, uh, they got like different colors. I've seen a blue one. Uh, and they have it in a precision model, which is curious. Uh, you know, I, I'd like to get my hands on one of them and try it. But it's got the, uh, you know, the precision chassis that uh, most guns nowadays, everybody wants. Uh, it's kind of, I'll show you a picture of it. But it's got a, uh, a heavier barrel. I think it's a shorter barrel. But uh, they call it the Model 64 Precision. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than this one. I think it ran about ran around 260. So it's about a hundred dollars, hundred dollars more. But uh, if it shoots as good as I remember these shooting. It would probably be worth 200 300 bucks uh, for the, the precision but uh it's got a thumb safety right here and uh you know, of course your trigger and the uh action has a lock back feature so you can uh lock your bolt back and then of course just chuck the shell in you you just pull it back at hat past that uh that mark there but uh, it does have a lock back, which is nice, if, especially if you got a uh, 
failure to feed or a uh, jam or any kind of issue in there, you can lock the bolt back, which I like. Uh, but this is just a really a no thrills uh, plain Jane just shooter. Comes with iron sights. It's got your uh, typical 22 dovetail sights, and then uh, you got a front post sight there. And I do plan on putting a scope on this. I haven't decided which one I'm going to use yet. I'd like to uh, I'd like to buy another burst for it, but I've got several back here not being used. So just for the to stay on the budget friendly, I'll probably just use one of those. I got to dig out some rings. But uh, before I do that, I want to shoot this thing open to sight it some and just see what I can do with it. Uh, the one I had when I was a kid, I, I shot it open sighted for a long time before I upgraded to a uh, scope. And with the scope, it was extremely accurate. I hope this one will be there too. But uh, there she is. Uh, I remember they had this in a Woodstock uh, back in the day. And they still do. I would like to find a replacement Woodstock for it. Because I always wanted the Woodstock. And uh, of course, back in, I couldn't afford it. Uh, so my... You know, now I would like to try to find a wood stock for it. I, I like wood. The synthetic feels pretty good, though. It's a very comfortable gun. It's got some nice checkering in the synthetic. Of course, it's just pressed, but it's got a nice grip to it. And then up here on the forehand as well, you got a nice checkering. You got nice, nice grip. You can actually really hold the gun really firmly. It uh, it feels really good. The length of pull is perfect. Uh, and of course, you know, for a, a kid or something, uh, this would be, you know, perfect first rifle, which it was for me. And uh, I had a lot of fun shooting and a lot of, uh, a lot of fond memories. I remember getting off the school bus, uh, going inside. I'd grab this gun. I'd head out in the woods and squirrel hunt until it got dark. Uh, those were the days. <laughs> but uh, it does come with some, uh, some sling studs, which is nice. You wouldn't expect that in this price point, but it, it has everything you need. It's got, uh, you know, sights, uh, sl uh, swing, sling studs. You got your dovetail for your uh, scope. It's got everything you'd want for, you know, a, a budget friendly 22. You can go out there and plank with, or, uh, you know, squirrel hunt, rabbit, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, it, uh, it seems to be set up pretty nice right out of the box. Uh, I do want to try some different uh, ammunition and different, uh, you know, different types of brands and stuff just to see what shoots the best. I'm expecting uh, I could probably get some uh, the match grade, which I got some federal. I think they're match, and I, I'm thinking this thing's probably going to shoot pretty well with some match grade stuff. But uh, we won't know till we till we try it. And it, it was made in. Uh, designed in 1964 which hence the name model 64 and uh i guess it's been around ever since i i don't know if they stopped making it at any point uh i need to do some more research on it like i said i just kind of picked it up on a whim uh funny story i went i walked right by this and didn't even see it and uh it was on the shelf on the end with some other 22s and i walked walked right past it didn't see it and then I come around again, and I seen a uh, a Ruger 1022, which is a gun I've always wanted. I've never owned one, and uh, I've always wanted one. I, I'll pick one up eventually. But uh, I walked over to look at the Ruger 1022, and I picked it up and looked at it. And uh, this was just happened to be sitting right beside of it. And as soon as I seen it, I knew what it was. I said, like, "Hey, it's you know the gun I had when I was a kid. It's a Model 64." And uh, when I picked it up, and I seen the price tag, and uh, I was like, "Yeah." It's been been a long time since me and the 64 has been acquainted, so I picked it up. But uh, I'm glad I did. I'm thrilled to death with it. I, I really like it. Uh, I can't wait to get it out and shoot it some and uh, kind of see what it'll do. But uh, there's a quick look. The magazine does stick out, which as you'd expect in a single stack 10 round. But I think that's about all I have. I just wanted to show it to you, and uh, we'll do some more in depth reviews and uh, shooting and accuracy tests and function tests and all that kind of stuff later. 
uh, I got to get it out to the range and, and shoot it. But uh, that'll finish this video up. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions or uh, you want to see anything else on here that I didn't cover, leave me a comment and I'll do another video covering your questions. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.